What single human has done the most damage to the progression of humanity in the history of mankind? Whoever gave the order to burn the Library of Alexandria? Thomas Midgley Jr. Almost everything he invented has seriously harmed humanity. With his inventions, Thomas Midgley Jr. contributed to the poisoning of three generations of children, increased the risk of skin cancer and other skin problems related to exposure to UV rays, and contributed greatly to global warming. Genghis Khan while he personally didn't do much to hinder human progress, his reign began an era of Mongol expansionism and devastation, and his successors were responsible for the destruction of the House of Wisdom of Baghdad, ending the Islamic Golden Age, and not to mention the destruction of numerous cities and the deaths of many. Also the Mongol Empire eventually paved the way for the Black Death, the empire led to many trade routes being formed between Europe and Asia, which eventually led to the transmission of the Black Death to Europe in the 14th century. Mao Zedong during the Great Leap Forward and the Cultural Revolution, 50 million people died either by starvation, or killed by Mao's Red Guards. Mao actively did everything he could to destroy Chinese culture, shut down universities, and murder intellectuals. You can thank Mao the monster for how China is today. Thomas Midgley Jr. Single-handedly reduced the IQ of the entire nation of the U.S. due to airborne lead poisoning from his invention of leaded gasoline. Then, upon hearing it was dangerous, launched a campaign to point out how it wasn't dangerous. He is responsible for 7 million tons of lead being put into the atmosphere between the years of 1922 to 2000, when leaded gasoline was finally banned worldwide. Not satisfied with his destruction of air quality, however, he then went on to invent Freon. Which punched a hole in the ozone layer some 40 years later. Truly, this man's war on human lungs and quality of life is unmatched. I mean, the conquistadors destroyed thousands of years of advancement. The Aztecs, Mayans, and Inca accomplished. Imagine where we'd be if they hadn't done that. Charles Koch. That bastard will most likely be responsible for the extinction of humanity. He spent the last 40 years propping up global warming denying nonsense so the Koch industries can make more money. Gavrilo Princip, the guy who shot Archduke Ferdinand and triggered World War I. And if that wasn't bad enough, the consequences of World War I led directly to World War II. The damage wasn't just the millions who died in the wars. It was the loss of the optimism of the time and the progress that it drove. After the war, people became less open to daring ideas and more skeptical of the possibility of progress. How much progress did that alone cost us? Mao or Stalin or Hitler? Greatest mass murderers in history. What might have been if all those millions of people had lived? and under less repressive regimes? I want to say the doctor who made up the fake link between vaccines and autism. The world has people dying every day now because they believe that shit. I believe those deaths are on his hands and I would be very happy to see him thrown in prison. Also who knows how long it will last. It could be decades before that bullshit ends. It's pretty insane how many people are here listing whoever is the current bogeyman in their lives, Trump, Bezos, Zuckerberg, etc really shows how unable people are to have any historical perspective on their lives or the state of the world. It's not one person but the people who had the patent for electric cars but never did anything with it because they wanted to make money and fuel electric cars, should have been a thing 30 years ago but millionaire wanted money, so we are only just getting them now and unfortunately the damage we have done to the atmosphere is irreversible. It's very sad. Joseph McCarthy, essentially stopping America from getting any of the benefits every other developed nation enjoys. Because communism is bad. And communism is anything that does not grant an immediate return to investors. It was me, sorry about that. Rupert Murdoch, for creating a massive conservative propaganda machine, that he himself now admits he has lost control over, that has poisoned the minds of large parts of the Western world, and has spawned a whole bunch of imitators. Aristotle. He may have been a good philosopher, but he put a stop to progress in astronomy. After Aristotle created his theory, which was wrong, no one could criticize his work or have a different opinion about astronomy. I'm not blaming him, I'm blaming who enforced the belief in Aristotle's theory, the church for example. Ronald Reagan. He helped create trouble in the Middle East and Latin America, he gave lots of power to big corporations, and his views on fossil fuels still influence Americans today. And as far as I know, he wasn't like other Republican politicians of today. He genuinely, 
ideologically believed in all of the things he helped to enact.